hey what's going on YouTube um, okay so it's been a while since I uploaded anything on this channel um, I haven't given up on it um, it's just uh, some things have not been going so well um, cu currently trying to recover from a few things but um, yeah the year is almost over and I wanted to see if I can salvage something for the remainder of the year um, I'm going to be try and at least upload a couple of more projects uh, between now and December. Hopefully, I will do that and commit to it. Um, it's just something sometimes um, uh, things on the on the side, like in life, will just um, complicate things. But hopefully, um, for the remainder of the year, I'll be able to upload a few more projects. All right, so that's something for another video. But in any case. Um, I wanted to do a simple project with uh, Spring Boot and Android. So this time around, I want to do a full CRUD application where we're going to be um, creating simple notes. Um, and then basically what we will, what you will mainly see is how to create a CRUD application with Spring Boot while using some Spring security in the um, uh, also within the project itself uh, we will be using JWT, JWT uh, for some authentication as well so um, so yeah so what you're seeing on the screen over there is actually a projection of my actual phone so I do have an Android device and the application I'm actually using is called Samsung Flow by the way I, I'm using a Samsung so this application basically allows me uh, maybe I should show um so this is it right here so samsung flow that's what is actually allowing me to project my actual device onto the screen now i uh, the reason i have this application is because initially i couldn't get the android emulator to work so i had to find an alternative means uh to get the uh, to showcase what's actually on my phone instead of using the emulator i did get it to, to work but since i already have this i think i should just continue with using um my actual device so the app is already done it's already installed on my phone so this video is basically going to be me showing you guys uh what we're going to be building so without wasting any more time let me just uh continue so um all right, so again, what you're seeing is uh, is the app already installed on my phone. So we have a login screen, and then if you click the sign up um, link, it takes you to the sign up um, activity. So if you see the um, this link over here, if you click on it, it takes you back to the login screen. So basically, you're able to go back and forth with um, with the application if you haven't logged in or registered so these are the links that you would have to click on if you if you want to go to the register page or the sign up page all right so the first thing i want to do is registration so i'm just going to come up with a simple name or just a fake name so i'll start by saying um let's see what's a what's a nice name let's just say thomas all right and then the last name will be um, let's just call it let's just call him Anderson all right so as you can see there is some validation um, you will see a little bit of how we can do some validations within Android itself so I'm just gonna continue and say Thomas uh, dot Anderson um, at example.com I think that should be fine and then let's just create a simple password I'm just gonna say password one two three and then password one two three all right so the passwords do not match so let me just try again okay Okay, so as you can see, now that the passwords match, the, the errors have gone. All right, and then another thing I would like to show you is that um, let's just remove, let's say, the surname. Right, as you can see, the register button is now disabled or grayed out. So 
basically the validations we're going to be doing here will um, we will show some errors and then we will also make sure that the bu the register button doesn't display until you filled in all the fields that are required so let me just put that um, surname back and the sin all right so now as you can see the register button is no longer uh, grayed out so let's click register and then now after successfully registering we are then sent to the success page now when i click return home it takes me now to the login page so now let's try to log in we're going to use the surname i mean the email so we're going to say thomas um, dot anderson at example dot com and then obviously as you can see also within the login screen I've made it so that if you haven't filled in all the fields, the login button will stay grayed out until you start um, typing in your password and your email. Now, before I click login, I just want to show you the database. So as you can see, let's go to the my notes. Let's go to users. So currently, that's Thomas over there. We've successfully registered. Um, and so he is user number five. Currently, Thomas doesn't have any notes. Um, he doesn't have any notes. So his user ID is five, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, his user ID is five. And so therefore, at the moment, he doesn't have any notes, right? So you have notes from, obviously, these ones I created while I was testing. So we have notes from user one, uh, three, three, and four. Okay, so now, let's go back to the app all right so i'm gonna log in now so now we've successfully logged in so this is basically the home page that, that you're looking at now and then we are getting that message because the user thomas doesn't actually have any notes to or to display on through the dashboard um so basically this is the ui again i didn't complicate it i kept it simple but i didn't also want it to look ugly either so if I just show you around, so let's click the three dots here so we can go to the profile page. So on the profile page, it's just going to show us the user details and then with the login button. And I'm just going to go back to the main page, which is this one. So let's create a note. All right. So here we can now I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be honest. I didn't do any validations within uh, this particular part of the, the application. But um, we're just going to create a simple note. So I'm going to say new note title by Thomas. And then I'll just say new note by um, uh, sorry, new note body by Thomas. So I'm just saying Thomas so that we know that this note that we're going to look at within the database was created by us just now. So when I click create, when, it, when the note is created successfully, we get this success um, activity or display. Then we just click return. So if you look now, we now have a new note. Initially, it was showing that we had no notes, but then at least now we have one note to look at. So if you want to, we can create another one. Um, another one by Thomas actually let me change that and say another title by Thomas and we can just say another title by Thomas and then create and then return so as you can see we now have two new notes so if you look at the database and then let's just refresh. So now these are the two new notes that were created by Thomas. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, if I were to go back to the profile page, right, and then clicked log out. Um, sorry, I'm supposed to show you guys how that works. I actually forgot. All right, let me just log in again. Right, and then let's 
put in the password login again we still see our notes uh, nothing has changed so basically when we log in um, the, the the API in the back end is basically called, uh, doing an API call to the Spring Boot application so I believe I haven't showed you guys yet so this is the app so as you can see I built it within Spring, with Spring Boot and um, we basically have two controllers or actually sorry we have a couple of controllers this is the auth controller this is where the user will then um, log in and authenticate and stuff so like I said we used some spring security and we are going to be using JWT tokens um, to authenticate and generate tokens and then this was just a test controller to see if the app is working and then this is the node controller where we create our nodes so like I said it's not really complicated it's fairly simple but you will learn a couple of things like how to work with spring security and then how to work with uh, J how to set up JWT tokens within the spring boot application and basically the whole ecosystem and stuff like that so let me go back so yeah uh, what I wanted to show you was I'm gonna go here and then profile and then as you can see it's showing our details over there and then I'm just gonna click log out then once we've successfully log out it takes us to the to the home uh, to the login screen and then if you go back uh, if you click the register link sorry the sign up link and then we we get that okay obviously here there's some there's a spelling mistake I should say sign it sign up instead of saying sign up I should say sign in but you do understand what that does all right so again so yeah man that's basically the application like I said I didn't complicate it especially when it comes to the design um, I wanted to keep it simple uh, the one thing oh yeah I haven't showed you how to delete uh, a note so let's go back again and log in so I'm putting in the email Thomas Anderson at example.com and then I'm gonna log in with my password log in so apologies I've got to show you guys that you can actually delete these notes so if I come here so basically that's just how our title looks and then all you have to do is just click delete and then it takes us to the success page then we say return then our note is gone and if you look again within the database so basically the note if I'm mistaken this is the one that we deleted just now so let's just refresh and then as you can see the note is gone and then now um, let's delete this one again so if I come back to the app as you can see we only have one note if I click there that's our note and then if I click delete it takes us to the success page return and then now we have no notes to display so let's create it one last time and then I'll just say the same thing just a note from Thomas and create so that's it so let's return so we've created another note and then if you come back here you'll see this one note number 30 will be deleted just now or was deleted and then now we have a new note that we just recreated uh, about a few moments ago okay one well last time I'm just gonna go back and say profile show our details and then log out and then be back at the login sp uh, login page so yeah that's basically what we're gonna be building um, like I said it's nothing complicated I just wanted to do something before the year ended but again in this project you will get to see um, how to cr oh, oh by the way to do these um, to do to to create um, basically how we're connecting to this Spring Boot application I use the library called volley now let me actually search for it quickly uh, so volley library so this is the library we're gonna use to make our API calls I know there are other ones that most likely people prefer like retrofit if I'm not mistaken but this is the one I learned a while back and this is the one that I'm currently familiar with I know there's probably better ones out there I'm not quite too sure but this is the library we're gonna be using to um, to make our API calls from the Android app um, what else the Android app itself again guys I've built it with uh, Java 
I know Kotlin is the way to go these days, but I'm not familiar with Kotlin. I've, like I said, when I started this, I learned how to build Android apps using Java, so I'm just going to stick with that. For those of you who are interested in uh, Kotlin, you might need to wait a while. I'm, at the moment, I haven't um, learned anything in, when it comes to that programming language, but again, if you are interested in building uh, Android apps using Java, you'll learn a couple of things within this project, and then... Um, yeah, um, like I said, I just wanted to build something using Java and uh, Spring Boot, and like I said, you will see how to connect to a um, to an external uh, to an, uh, to a Java application. Build, oh, sorry, a Spring Boot application uh, using the Volley library. Um, so that's how we're gonna basically connect between the Android app and the Spring Boot application. You'll see how I get to store the JWT token using preferences and stuff like that and then um, yeah it's basically it like I said it's nothing complicated I uh, just wanted to do something simple the last project I did I didn't go this far so I wanted to expand a little bit more when it comes to Android apps and Spring Boot applications and so yeah man I hope you guys enjoy this project and stuff like that so um, that's it for the video guys again um, if you've liked what you've seen so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, again, I thank you for watching, and I'll be see you. I'll be seeing you guys within the next video. All right, cheers for now.